All right, welcome to Night Hacking Interviews at the Cloud World Mumbai Conference. My name's Stephen Chin. I'm the Java Community Manager for Oracle Technology Network, and I'm joined by Stan Vesterly. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. So you did an amazing keynote earlier talking about you know, different Oracle cloud solutions. Um, it was a nice panel with the different ACE directors. And yes. um, you answered some questions about mobile application framework and some of the other um, Oracle technologies. So, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, related to that, what sort of tools do you recommend people choose for mobile when they're looking at different frameworks and technologies? Well, it, when you're looking at mobile, you have two main tools from Oracle. And we've had mobile application framework for a long time, which, is, which has been the tool that Oracle has been, they've been using themselves for a lot of the mobile applications that they've been building. Yeah. And mobile application framework has the big advantage that it deploys to, it deploys to different platforms. You have a development approach that's what, like you're used to if you're an Oracle ADF developer. And it generates, you press a button, it generates you an iOS application. Press another button, it generates you an Android application. Now, Oracle product management, they used to, people used to ask, what about, what about Windows? And product management would always say, well, if anybody ever starts using it, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll cover it. And apparently, somebody has started using it because with MAF 2.3, now we have Finally Windows support supports as well. Windows Mobile. We have Windows Mobile as well. Very yes. nice. OK, so that gets you, that's one option for cross platform development. Yes, and of course, if you are more of a JavaScript developer, there's a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff happening with JavaScript development these days. So, and Oracle is, is, uh, has jumped on that as well. Yeah. And so with JavaScript extension toolkits, J Oracle Jet, we actually have an Oracle toolkit that allows us to build JavaScript, um, JavaScript applications. And the great thing about taking, if you take, the, the or take Oracle Jet or if you take uh, Oracle Math, is right now they are, they've reached an alignment from the, from the user experience standpoint. So you can build the same thing. You have the same components. So you have similar user experience available. So it's not that, that like the choice between math or JET needs okay. to be so on. So even using different technologies, you get a similar look and feel and exactly, user experience. Yes. yes. Um, yeah, OK. So that makes it much easier to migrate between them, possibly have applications written in one or the other as part of the same suite. Of yes. mobile applications. So mobile applications are typically fairly small, but it means that you could actually have a mobile app. You could actually have a math application or a, a, and a jet application. But because they have similar components, a similar look and feel, there is no need for you to to force your entire development team into say you must use this. Cool. Um, and then what about getting started with these frameworks? Are there any good resources where you can learn about um, using math and jet to build mobile applications? Yeah, so Jet is the most is the, the latest edition there, and Jet is of course comes with it very much in a, a modern development approach. So it comes with a cookbook with lots of code samples. So you basically just cut and paste. You get a complete code sample. It's more like you're used to if you are using say Google Maps API. There's a complete code sample. This is exactly yeah. how you do it. And Oracle Math is not the same, not the not the cookbook approach. It has development guide. But both MAF and JET come with a lot of sample applications. So we're seeing, we're seeing much more support for, instead of, you know, take a class, uh, read the developer guide, start programming, you can start up at a much higher level by saying, OK, let me look at the sample apps. Oh, this looks like something that I could use. I can open the code. So we have real, you know, we believe in running code, right? <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that's, that's the modern approach to development with agile methodologies and quick prototyping. You really, you really want to get stuff working. You don't want to spend all your time doing mock-ups and um, you know, architectures. Exactly. Um, and you know, just chatting a little bit about what you do. So um, you do professional training? Well, I do, uh, I do lots of, of consulting in various ways, but one of, my, uh, one of my favorites is to help people choose the right tool, which uh -huh. is, of course, why I'm here in Mumbai and why I'm speaking speak at Oracle World and at user conferences all over the place. So I love helping people use the right Oracle technology. There's so much, there's so much great stuff out there, and it's, uh, it's a shame when people use the, uh, use the wrong technology. 
So I'm mentoring development teams for both in the, in the, in the, in the early phase. Should we use this? Should we use that? Or yep. often, you know, we come from, we have an Oracle Forms application that we've been running for 15 years. What should we do with it? So that kind of help. And then, of course, mentoring development tools, have, making them, helping them, you know, make use of the great features. And okay. these are, you know, you want to use the frameworks right. Yeah. And sometimes you see people trying to use the framework uh, in different from the way it's intended. And that's, um, well, it's an uphill struggle. There's no need to go there. So you have any, any interesting anecdotes about um, teams which you've worked with or places you've gone where um, you saw something interesting? Well, I've seen, um, I've seen organizations that have been, that have been running uh, very old versions of um, very old versions of Oracle Forms, so they were sort of way behind the curve. And what was what was interesting about that was that that we wanted, to, of course, we wanted to move forward. Yeah. And what we found was that you, you look at the you look at an old application, and you see, oh, there's a lot of work to do here. But once you look at what are the users actually using, you find out that in Typically, you have at least 25% of your, of your application which is never used. And in this case, we were able to identify the 10% that, <laughs> that covered pretty much 90% of what people needed to do. So there is, and especially when we're talking mobile, we're talking about what is the mobile use case or what is the stuff that people really use? Yeah, so we have yeah. a big... So it doesn't have to be the full featured um, exactly. web or desktop application. You yeah. can have a small subset of functionality which people really need on mobile. Exactly, yes. And the good mobile use case is, as they say, it's something that takes less than two minutes. Yeah. If you have something that takes more than two minutes, you see, you see uh, adoption of your mobile solutions dropping rapidly. So it's the, yeah, the ideal use case. I saw um, the Oracle has an, um, an expense, um, expense approval account. I call, yeah. it, I call it Tinder for expense accounts. So you say swipe right, swipe right. So this is approved, 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 <laughs> rejected. And you see, that's why you're, you'll be waiting, you know, you'll be waiting three weeks for your manager to approve your expenses. But if you can just stand there in the line for check-in and yeah, swiping yeah. right swipe, and left, swipe, swipe. you know, yeah, he'll be, he'll be done. That's, the, that's a really good mobile use case. Yeah, yeah I think. My, my current manager is quite good, but I have some past okay. managers who definitely could have used that. <laughs> you, can, you, can definitely, you can definitely hear when you talk to people that it, is, it has been a pain point in some organizations. It, yeah, it has. Cool. Well, it's been great chatting with you, Stan. Um, I'm looking forward to I think you're giving a talk later today. I'm giving a talk later today on, um, on how, to, how to build compelling mobile apps, where I'll be talking more about both Math and Jet and, and showing, some, showing some demos. Cool. That'll That's exciting. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you.